Welcome to Brick Science. Today we're going to build a Lego Among Us task and turn it into a game. Here we go. Ah, I missed that last one. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Brick Science. My name is Riley and today I'm going to show you how to build a Lego Among Us game based on a task from Among Us in Electrical. Essentially in Among Us there's this task with three spinning discs and as you can see here what they do is they spin around and you have to hit the button at just the right time so that the gray piece aligns with the gray line and if you don't do that it restarts. However if you hit it at the right time it moves on to the next spinning disc and so today we're going to be building that out of Lego. Let me show you the mechanism I already built. I worked on this a little bit and I'll kind of give you a play by play on how this works. So you can see we have one drive shaft. All I'm doing is spinning this gear right here. I have two layers of gears. One is on the bottom and those are in black and the ones on the top are in gray. So essentially when you push one of these up, so when, when you hit the button, the lever will engage. This will pop up, which disengages the top gear, but engages a series of gears on the bottom. So you can see this little gear inside here, which is not engaged to when you're spinning this. It doesn't do anything. As soon as you push that in, it engages the second series of gears which goes to the top and starts the second one moving, as you can see down below. And then when you push that one up, it disengages that and starts the third one moving. It's kind of a complicated mechanism. All right, so the first step is to essentially take what we have here, and we just need to make three levers that will only engage these little flaps right here when that comes around like that. So let's just start by, I mean, first let's start by putting this on a better frame, because um, it is pretty bulky right now. All right, we're ready. Too fast. Okay, so that's too fast. We just need a small gear to spin the big gear, but I can't get a small gear in there because it's not working. I don't understand. It's okay, it's okay. I know how to fix this. Watch this. Just like that. All right, so now we have it motorized. So if all the three of these start like wherever like that, we turn it on. We're good to go, and then we push the first one up with the button, and the button kicks in again, and the button kicks in again, and there you have won the game, assuming that these are all lined up. Now we just need to design the levers, and that should be pretty easy. Let's actually just build a big wall across the bottom here. So i got to kind of think three steps ahead here. We're going to have to have some things going across the bottom here. Uh, one of those things is going to be we're going to replace these 1x5 little bars here, we're gonna replace those with longer ones so that when this comes up, the brick that's colored green or whatever color that it turns when you get it right, will be attached to this so that when this pops up, this will pop up with it and pop into the viewing area so the person can see, oh, I got it, so they can move on to the next one. So yeah, essentially like that. All right, so this is like this, which is good. We just need this to stop at a certain point. So if we have this running, runs the first one, This is what they call um, performance testing. Essentially, you do the same thing over and over. And if it breaks the first time, then you're definitely not doing something right. Essentially, you do the, the same thing over and over just to make sure. Dang it. Thank good guys. Um, the issue that we're having is that when this comes around here and this thing is still up, it can do that. Uh, and that's because it's getting stuck on this lever, the pusher. So how do we do this? All right, guys, I've been working on this mechanism for five hours. We have three of these things that will essentially slip into place once the buttons go up. So this will be spinning, and I'm just going to simulate that by turning this gear here. And then I actually fix the part where it will go past it. You know, it will go past it if this is up. So if you just hold the button down, it's not going to do anything. I use a little rubber piece for that. But if you don't, it hits that just like that. You can see that if I do this one more time. If I go around, hit it, this comes up, and this 
stops turning essentially. But you can see if I turn this and I hit it, this comes up, this light, and this, and this thing whips into place, which essentially holds this up so it doesn't push back down. And to reset it, obviously, you would just do that, push this back down into place, and then you can restart the game. But here's how it works. You're spinning this, you get the first one up, the second one does the same thing, you get that one up, and then the third one, oh, what's this button here? This button has a tester button on it, so you can see. But there you go, and there you have completed the game. All of these are essentially facing that way, so we're gonna make a bar about three or four studs wide that it'll have to line up with. But there we go. Um, <laughs> man, that took forever. Literally worked on this for five hours, just didn't even put the time lapse on because it was just, I had to be so focused. So many things went wrong. I, I tried so many different things, but essentially, now you just pull these out and reset the game. But since this is running off one motor, it's very complicated. Now we gotta build a cover for it. So the cover is gonna be pretty simple. We gotta build a couple places to put these buttons. Let's go 18 by 18 by 20. Uh, I'm gonna use tiles and bricks. You guys, since this is like it is, I really want the sides to be showing. Maybe I'll just cover the top and bottom or something, but I really want people to be able to see the mechanism and just all the gears and stuff turning here in there. Cause that's the most interesting part of this whole thing. And if we cover everything up, I mean, it might look kind of cool, but you know, you won't be able to see everything that went into building this. God, did you know that I signed Stormbreaker and I'm definitely not taking pieces from it? What? I had to bring these up quite a bit just so that we could uh, fit them on here because we have these three things that go across for the, they hold the buttons in place. And so we still need those on there, but I can't put the, the slopes across the middle with that there. So, all right, so it's looking good right now. We have a couple holes. You can see what the bottom looks like. What I'm doing is I'm just laying down a few plates and then just closing off this last one here with some one by fours. And then we gotta build like the weird little wire shaped things that it has to line up with. Or otherwise it's just gonna be like, how do I play this game? I mean, if you've never played before, it's still not gonna make sense, but whatever. <laughs> it's gonna work, okay. Actually what I can do is I can just, while I'm laying this out, grab some of these awesome Technic pieces, and put them in here. And then for now, will that even, yeah, it will, except not that one. Guys, quick tip of the day. Did you know that if you get one of these stuck, one of these little blue pieces, you can just take a bar, put it in there, and it comes out because it clutches better onto the bar? Fun fact, if you didn't know it, I'm not gonna lie, this uh, this tingles the brain just a little bit. I'm just like, it's like a puzzle. I mean, it's not that hard, but it is difficult to figure out how to get, how to get a couple of these in here without everything falling apart. This is the hardest part of the whole video. Wow. Beautiful, and that took, what, like 30 minutes? Now, there are a couple pieces that go across, and we're gonna do it like this. All right, guys, we have finally completed the task. It is done, I'm so excited, honestly, like, I am so excited to show you guys how this works. It turned out super well, like better than I expected, better than I imagined. Um, it took 10 hours, roughly, of work, uh, but we finally got the mechanism to work. So without further ado, let me just show you how it works. All right, so I'm actually gonna flip this over. I'm gonna plug it into the battery box. You see we got the motor on the back there. All right, so if I turn it on, the first one will start spinning like in the task, and I'm not supposed to touch that. <laughs> and I get to push this button, this light will come up when, if I do it right. It's gonna be around this area. I didn't get it exactly squared, but you can see, got the first one. Got the second one. And on this one, I'll show you how it doesn't work if you don't do it right on time. And there we go. You did it, we won the game. I'm gonna be honest, it works better if you tip it up, so I'll show you this way. I'll show you this one more time, but here's how you reset it. You turn it off and you pull out these little side things. You can see when I do that, this will drop down and it will reset essentially just like that. And so you can see those go in again if we try this. And you can see also if you hold it here, how it just goes past it normally. I'm gonna be honest, there's some bugs, guys. <laughs> All right, here we go. And then as you can see, it goes up, that goes in. This one I don't wanna miss. I missed it. 
got it. And looks like we skipped a gear on that one. And got it. There we go. So that's how you do it from the top down. I'm going to show you. I mean, it, it's honestly the same doing it from the front, to be honest. <laughs> so now what I do is I just pull out this little lift arm. Just give it a little push. And that's how you reset the game. Give this one a little, little push. All right, and then we just turn it on. And here we go. Try not to miss the first one. The second one. And this is it, guys. I'm going to win. Ah, I didn't, I didn't win. And there you go. That's how you do it, guys. That's pretty fun. I'm super happy with how this project turns out. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and comment down below what you'd like to see me build next. I might start a new series called Over Engineered because I literally over engineered the crap out of this. Only using one motor. As you can see, we got this L motor on the top here because it's a loser. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love you. Please don't break. But yeah, this thing works pretty well. There's some bugs, but that's just because inconsistency in the size of rubber bands I used. And you can see me going through a bunch of different rubber bands in the time lapse, but you can see here, like, these ones are different because I didn't have three of those. So you drop that down, just like that. This one over here, that's why it's so buggy, is this rubber band is different. So there were inconsistencies in the rubber bands, uh, and honestly, I just didn't have the right rubber bands to use, so I had to kind of loop them over a couple times. But this thing works really well otherwise, and I'm super happy with it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go check out another one. We made a couple more Among Us videos. Uh, the last one we did was a imposter actually popping out of a vent. Guys, go check out this video if you want to see that. We also have a video on how to build the imposter, but let me know. Let me know what you want to see me build next. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Riley, and I'll talk to you in the next Brick Science. See you then.